There are two cursors in Pro Tools, an edit cursor and a playback cursor. So here, this vertical flashing line is the edit cursor. A playback cursor, or playhead, uh, is a vertical line that will move away, when I hit play, it'll move away from this edit cursor. And when I hit stop, it'll move back to the edit cursor. This is because when you work on music, you'll play something, listen to something, want to work on it, and when you hit stop, it'll go back automatically to where you originally started playback from. There are several ways to select a playback point in Pro Tools. The first one is with the selector tool, you can click anywhere in the edit page and Pro Tools will start from there. You can also do this in the conductor or the time base rulers and select a playback point. If you were using, say, a grabber or any other tool, you can move any tool up into the conductor area and it'll turn into an I-beam, therefore letting you select the playback point. There are also three scrolling options. Go to Options, Edit Window Scrolling, and we have No Scrolling, After Playback, and Page. Let's first look at Page. When the playback cursor gets to the right-hand side of the page, the page renews itself. Let's go back to measure two, and now options, edit scrolling, and look at no scrolling. Here, if I hit play, when the playback head gets to the edge of the page, nothing happens, or so it would seem. There's a little blue triangle up here. If I was to click on it, I catch the play head again. The same happens the other way. The play head has gone back to measure two, and there's a little blue triangle here. If I click it, I'll get back to measure two. Now the last option is after playback. So if we hit play, nothing will happen. We'll stay on the same page until we stop. And there, the page updates to where I stop the playback. But don't forget, the playback head has gone back to the edit cursor. Let's now look at this button. This button's called Insertion Follows Playback. Up until now, when you hit play, the playback cursor moves away from the edit cursor. When you hit stop, the playback moves back to the edit cursor. Here, when you hit stop, the edit cursor comes up to the playback. So what that means is the next time you hit play, you'll start from where you stopped. So here, we'll stop at 2.3, and now the edit cursor comes up to the playback and we can play on from there. So here I'll catch my playhead, and now the edit cursor is at measure five. You can use this to run down a track, stop when you hear an error, fix the error, move on from there. But mainly, you wouldn't have that on. You would work in the other mode where the playback goes back to the edit cursor.